taken here about one tablespoons of semolina this will give a little texture to this recipe and it's going to give a little crunch then one tablespoon of salt or according to your taste one teaspoon of turmeric powder and then one tablespoon of uh, coriander seed powder one teaspoon of cumin seed powder and then I have one tablespoon of cornstarch or corn flour and then I have a red chili I have taken here two kinds of red chili powder first one this one uh, is one tablespoon of uh, Kashmiri red chili powder this will give that nice bright red color but it doesn't have any um, a heat to it that's the reason I'm adding a spicy red chili powder and I have taken that around half a teaspoon but then again it's up to your taste you can add it accordingly and then I have a tablespoon of mustard oil this is going to give a lot of flavor to this dish and then one teaspoon of garam masala powder about two tablespoons of lemon juice and then finally I have some ginger and garlic this is about a tablespoon of grated ginger and garlic you can take ginger and garlic paste as well and then I have the most important ingredient of fish masala and that is fish I have taken here about one pound of fish these are small pieces of fish and I have taken here rohu this uh, fish belongs to the can it's up to your taste you can take any fish of your choice and I have still the bone and the skin on and uh, I'm going to uh, mix all these ingredients and then I'm going to apply it to the fish so as I said um, this fish still has bones and skin but if you wish you can take boneless and skinless fish fillets as well so mix all the ingredients I have taken here a bigger plate that's the reason I can mix everything well in this plate itself but you can always take a bowl if you wish to and just mix all the ingredients of, uh, ingredients well and then you can marinate the fish with the mixture so goes all the ingredients this fish will have the amazing red color and that's because of the Kashmiri red chili powder and uh, add salt according to your taste now finally goes mustard oil Mustard oil not only gives this dish a nice flavor but also it helps uh, the masala to stick to the fish better. Since it's a grease, it will help these dry spices stick to the fish really well. So I'm going to give everything a good mix and then I'm going to uh, give these fish pieces a good massage of this uh, spice mix and then I'm going to keep it marinated for about 15 to 20 minutes and the next step is to deep fry so the spice paste is done I'm going to uh, give this fish pieces a good rub of this spice mixture and you can see this spice mixture is a little dry and uh, you need a little drier spice paste because if it is too or soft then it's not gonna uh, you know stick to the fish pieces well and when you deep fry it's going to come out and your dish will not come out well so ensure that you have a little drier uh, spice paste so finally these fish pieces are well coated with the marination and it has a very thick coating on both the sides of the fish and since it has semolina and cornstarch it's going to give a little crunch to this recipe and it may seem a little dry the um, you know the spice paste but by the time it's marinated for 15 to 20 minutes since it has salt in it the fish will ooze out some moisture and this mixture will be a little thinner so ensure that the spice mixture is a little drier and uh, in that case your recipe will come out absolutely well. So this is marinated. I'm going to keep it for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll deep fry it. Now to deep fry the fish pieces I have heated here some vegetable oil and keep the heat on medium and I'm going to deep fry it for about 2 minutes on each side. Now um, cooking time depends on the fish pieces you have taken. If you are taking uh, boneless and skinless fish fillets then it takes very little time and if you have thicker pieces of fish then accordingly you have to deep fry. For these uh, pieces of fish it will take about 2 minutes uh, medium uh, heat to make it a little crispy and cook the fish at the same time so I'm going to cook for about two minutes on each side on medium heat so it's been about two minutes time to flip the fish 
you can see here how wonderful it looks nice dark golden and brownish and uh, it may look a little burnt but it's not burnt and this dark color is because of uh, uh, the Kashmiri red chili powder and uh, that's why you have this very beautiful dark golden and brownish color since the fish pieces are very tender use two spatulas just to flip it and then I'm just waiting for the other side to get this color and then I'm going to take it out so finally the fish pieces are done nice uh, dark golden and brown they're crispy they're delicious it's time to take it out and serve the very delicious fish masala is ready you can serve this fish masala recipe as a starter or as a snack and if you belong to any coastal and rice eating state of India then the combination of fish masala and rice goes absolutely wonderful probably that's why it's my personal favorite so do try this very very delicious recipe and share your comments and your suggestions and if you like this video you know what to do hit like share and subscribe we will meet next time till then bye bye